Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find the solution of this differential equation that satisfies the given initial condition. The differential equation that we have is dy dx equals natural log of x over xy, and the initial condition that we're given is y of 1 equals 2. So I wanted to show you how to do this problem because it kind of builds on the topic that I've done a few videos on recently, which is how to find the solution of a separable differential equation. And this basically just has that added layer of adding in that initial condition. So I wanted to show you how to do that. And this is actually one of the formulas on my Calculus 2 study guide or my integral calculus cheat sheet that I came out with recently. There's a link down in the description or in the pinned comment down below where you can grab yourself a copy of that. And this is, like I said, one of the formulas on there. So I wanted to show you how to use it. So go ahead, grab yourself a copy, print that out or pull it up on your computer and I'll show you exactly how to do this problem uh, using the formula on there. And real quick before I jump into this problem, I do wanna say, be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified of all my new videos. If this video gets 10 likes within a week, I'll go ahead and come out with an extra bonus video for you guys next week. So be sure to hit that like button so we can get that bonus video next week. All right, let's jump into this problem. So really, like I was showing you in my videos recently about solving separable differential equations, the first step in solving this kind of a differential equation would be to separate our variables, hence the name separable differential equation. So really, since we already have this in a form where we have dy dx on one side of our equation, that kind of clues us in that we're going to want to put our x's over to the right side of our equation and our y's over to the left side. The reason why we know this is because typically it's going to be much, much easier to move whatever is on the bottom here, so in this case our dx, over to the right side and leave whatever's on the top, in this case dy, over on the side that it's already on. So as a result, what we want to think about is moving all of our x's to the right, in this case, this is the only x we need to move over to the right. The rest of our x's are already there. And then we want to move all of our y's over to the left. So we can see we have this y right here. We want to think about how to move this y over to the left side and then how to move this dx over to the right side. So realistically, that's actually going to be fairly simple. All we really have to do is multiply both sides of our equation by dx to cancel it over on the left side and then multiply both sides of our equation by y to cancel it over on the right side, right? So doing that, we're gonna be left with, on the left side, we're gonna have y dy. On the right side, we're gonna have natural log of x over x times dx. So now that we've completely separated our x's on one side of our equation along with our dx and then all of our y's along with our dy on the other side of our equation, what we can do is just integrate both sides of our equation. So to do this, this integral over here on the left side would be fairly simple. Since we have a dy here, we know that we're gonna be integrating with respect to y, right? So the integral of what, you know, just y with respect to y, you could do with the power rule. You could imagine this as y to the first power, raise the power by one, divide by the new power, and that's gonna be the antiderivative of y to the first power or y. <clears throat> then, to integrate what we have over here on the right side of our equation, natural log of x over x, and then we're integrating with respect to x, so now over here, x is our variable. Over here, y was our variable. So to integrate this, I'm not gonna show you all the steps of how to do that. You could integrate that using u substitution. Um, if you wanna see how to do that, I have made a video on that. You can just click up there at the top of your screen. Um, and I'm not going to, like I said, show you all the steps in this video, but if we were to do u substitution, we could call our u would be natural log of x, and then we would work through the same steps outlined in that video that I mentioned. Uh, and what that would tell us is that the integral of this is actually going to be natural log of x all squared all over 2. And then what we need to do at this point is we would add our plus c since we've integrated. And you're, you're gonna wanna put your plus C, you only need to do it on one side of the equation, on the side of your variable, right? So since we started with dy dx, that tells us that y is a function of x. Whatever's on top is a function, and whatever's on bottom is the variable. So as a result, we want to put our plus C on the side of x, because x is our variable. 
So now what we can do is we can solve for y. So we're just going to get y all by itself. So what we can do is multiply both sides by 2. So multiplying both sides by 2, we're going to multiply this whole thing by 2. The 2's are going to cancel over here. This 2 times this term is just going to cancel the 2 there. And then we also have to multiply this 2 times c. However, multiplying some number 2 times some unknown constant c is just going to create a new unknown constant. So what we can do is just say we're going to have natural log of x all squared plus some new unknown constant. We'll call it c1. Really, c1 is just two times whatever c was in the previous step, but that's really not important because we haven't actually solved for c or c1 yet. That's going to come later. So now what we want to do to get this y all by itself, we can just take the square root of both sides and we're going to get the square root and the squared canceling here and we get y equals the square root of natural log of x all squared plus our unknown constant within the square root. This square root and this squared are not going to cancel because we have this other constant being added in here. So now this is where the initial condition comes into play because this would be, if we didn't have the initial condition, this would be the solution to the separable differential equation. But since we do have this initial condition, what we need to do is plug this into our, our solution that we just found down here and solve for our unknown constant. So this initial condition tells us y of one equals two, which means when our input of our function is one, the output is gonna be two. Well, like I just said before, x is our variable, y is our function, which means x is our input, y is our output. So one is our input, one is x, two is our output, two is y. So we'll plug in one for x, two for y, into this, and then we can solve for c. So doing that, we'll get two, equals the square root of natural log of one, all squared, plus our unknown constant. Well, natural log of one is zero. So this here is actually zero squared. Zero squared is just zero. So this really is just gonna simplify down to the square root of our unknown constant equals two. To solve for our unknown constant, we can square both sides, giving us four equals C1. So now we can take this C1, take it back up to this step here, and put it in there to get our overall solution of this initial value differential equation. So doing that is gonna tell us that y equals the square root of natural log of x all squared plus four, all within the square root. So this is going to be the solution to the initial value problem that we were originally given. So if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button down below. If we get 10 likes within the next week, I'll go ahead and come out with an extra bonus video for you guys next week. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss that bonus video. Thanks and see you next time.